Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, Stan the Movie Man with your WIMC.com movie review. This week at WIMC.com, you sent me to see 30 Minutes or Less, starring Jesse Eisenberg, Danny McBride, Aziz Ansari, Nick Swartzen, and more. It is the story of a couple of losers. They're both on about the same level of suck. Uh, first is Nick, played by Jesse Eisenberg, who uh, drives for a pizza delivery place in town, in the town of Grand Rapids, Michigan, where the story's set, where uh, they have to deliver the pizza in 30 minutes or less, or the pizza's free, and that usually means it gets taken out of the driver's check. He has really uh, no prospects for a better job, uh, dislikes thoroughly the job he has, and is sort of a slacker who spends a lot of his time getting high. Uh, then you have Dwayne, played by Danny McBride. He lives with his father, a retired uh, Marine, who, once he left the service, started buying lottery tickets and hit for a $10 million prize. He's burned through the majority of the money, but uh, Dwayne, who thoroughly dislikes his father, um, has a plan to get that money. He and his buddy Travis, played by Nick Swartzen, uh, develop an idea to kill uh, Dwayne's father and use his money to start a business of questionable uh, questionable legality. Actually, no question about it. It's thoroughly illegal. Anyway, uh, they approach, uh, or rather, uh, Dwayne approaches a stripper named Juicy who uh, knows a guy in Detroit by the name of Chango, played by Michael Pena, He's a hitman, a gang member, and he is uh, willing to do the job for $100,000. But where will Dwayne and Travis come up with $100,000? Well, they call the pizza place, have Nick deliver a pizza, knock him out with some chloroform, strap a bomb vest to his chest, and tell him he has 10 hours to, sorry, 10 hours to rob a bank and bring them the $100,000 that they need. Otherwise, the bomb goes off. Nick immediately goes to his best friend Chet, played by Aziz Ansari, who is an elementary school teacher. And even though they've had a recent falling out, uh, especially over uh, uh, Nick's sleeping with Chet's sister, Kate, um, when he graduated from high school, this is seven years later now, um, he, uh, Nick begs Chet to help him to rob this bank to get the, the uh, vest off his chest. Uh, the movie it has moments that are, are, are quite entertaining. Um, uh, there are bits of funny surrounded by a lot of people who are thoroughly unlikable cussing a lot. Uh, probably... I'm going to say 45% of the script is foul language, which I realize in a movie of this nature is, is not that big a deal. But it, it, quite frankly, and I'm not the least bit offended by foul language, but it just became oppressive at times how, how much they're throwing, dropping the F-bomb and, and, and all the other foul words um, that you hear in movies nowadays. It just really was overwhelming at times. Um, and also, the parts that aren't funny aren't really all that interesting as Nick and Chet try to figure out a way to rob the bank. Uh, and it just... Uh, it, it, it is at times amusing, and then there are times it's like, okay, let's, let's, get, let's get this show on the road. Um, and there are some unbelievable moments when all of a sudden a character develops... Um, either a brilliant idea or a strategy that up to this point it didn't appear they had the ability to come up with. It, it you know, it just stretches credibility and it isn't quite funny enough um, and it doesn't really take that much in the way of a chance with its premise, which I think is a terrific premise, but it, it just doesn't quite deliver on the promise of that pre premise. And for that reason, I am giving 30 minutes or less 
two guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the movie I see next time. Have any questions? Feel free to send them to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, later, Tater. <laughs>